Welcome to Rotone Studios. I've put nylon strings on an electric guitar and this is how it sounds. Interestingly, it is actually coming out of the amp, it's just really quiet. Why have I put nylon strings on an electric guitar? Well, there's this whole tonewood debate that the type of wood affects the guitar tone and I'm saying it's mostly from the guitar strings because they are metal and they move the magnetic field which the pickups pick up and that signal is what you hear. So I've removed the metal strings, we've got nylon strings and this shows you how much sound the guitar makes if the metal from the strings isn't there. I know there's probably still an argument for how much the wood affects the tone of the strings but we've looked into that in other videos and I would say it does a tiny amount but not much at all. What's interesting about this is, there's actually a sound coming from the guitar amp. This is how loud the bridge humbucker is with nylon strings. And just for a comparison, I'm gonna put the guitar down and put another guitar, hover it over the pickup so you get an idea of how loud that sound is. So metal strings, about 80 decibels, nylon strings, it sound about 60 decibels, but that's picking up the strings in the room, not the guitar cab. I'll cut between the guitar cab and the room sound so you can hear the difference. The sound of this guitar is louder than what's coming out of that speaker. What does this tell us? <laughs> Well, it tells us that you need metal guitar strings for the guitar to make an audible sound. And in combination with the video where I had metal guitar strings on this and played through this pickup, it shows how much sound comes from that pickup being under the strings. So the majority of the guitar tone comes from the pickup and the guitar string. Now, if you see my video where I experiment on the tonal differences between a Gibson Les Paul and a Gibson SG, you'll notice there is still a small amount of sound difference. Even when I had an external pickup not attached to anything, and I compared that in the same place on both the guitars. And that video shows that there is a small tonal difference between different guitars. The Gibson SG has an all mahogany body and neck, and the Les Paul is similar, but it has a maple cap, it's a lot thicker, and it does sound fuller. So the tone would, does affect the tone of your guitar. I just think the amount that that happens is greatly exaggerated all over the place. It is very minimal, but as much as changing your guitar cones, that's gonna change the sound a little bit. So all these tiny variations of sounds do add up. It's probably insignificant. It's not as significant as changing your guitar head or changing the guitar or type of pickup or putting an effects pedal in the chain, but it does add to the sound. Although this was a ridiculous experiment, it does demonstrate that most of the sound comes to the fact you need metal strings on the guitar. And it is that movement in the magnetic field which the pickup picks up clever name there, and that is your signal. I'm just trying to do it a bit differently because if you compare two different guitars and go, they sound different, well, everything about those guitars is different. The trees, the woods come from, everything. There's a variation in everything. All the components, all the pickups, everything's different. There's too many differences. Whereas if you use the same instrument or the same pickup and try that on different things, that gives you a far more accurate look at what you're trying to compare. You can't compare two different things and say they're different because of one thing when a hundred things are different. That's just not possible. It's like going, my house is warmer than yours because I've got a blue door. You're not looking at the whole picture. So I'm just trying to go from different angles so you can see what things affect tone, what things don't. Although I do think tone wood does exist a little bit, although it's insignificant, I do wonder whether changing the pieces of the guitar that are in contact with the string the most. So for example, the bridge or bridge saddles, the nut and the frets. I just don't know how to do a fair comparison to demonstrate that because everything else has to be identical and the playing has to be consistent as possible ideally. If you've got any ideas leave a comment and let me know because I'll be quite interested to find out and work out what contributes to the sound and how much. Thanks for watching.